Hey guys, this is Young Tech Book One, and today I'm going to be showing you showing you guys how to make a moon, making a moon and also like a tie dye looking surface, I guess. So go ahead and create a sphere, or or if you already have a shape, or just put a shape up in there. Cube, it doesn't really matter, but this is just how to make a moon. Click on new material, and then hold on. Sorry about that. Go ahead and double click the new material and make sure that is white. That the color is white. You want the color to be white. As white as possible. And click on textures. Make sure you have luminance on. And go all the way down to surfaces and then click on metal. And right now the color is blue, but it will change. So if you click on it. This thing is so, it's always so small. My mouse isn't really that precise. Here we go, finally. You want to have one at dark and one at like a grayish. And then you want to do the same thing with luminance, textures, surfaces, and then metal. Uh, I was, I didn't really. When I found this out, I was like, oh, wow, that's cool. But I wasn't actually looking around. I was thinking about it. So I just clicked on metal. And I just thought maybe like a rustic, like a metal field. Just, just like maybe all one color. Where I, I don't know, look good. I thought it would be like one of the speculars. Speculars or whatever you want to call it. And it will look, I guess, metallic-like. But I found this out. So it's, it helped me out in the project. It will probably help you out. Or just give you information. This is good for like, uh, oh yeah, I also said tie dye. So I'm going to take off luminance real quick. So I could just do this. Oops. Double click. And for like tie dye, like I was saying, like a tie dye look, you got to click like right up on the top of these things just to get it. I hate doing it because it's so hard. Let me see. And I can always do it when I don't need it. Here we go. I don't know what which what I did. I just put it. Oh, I just dragged it across. So I guess that's how you do it. Try and get that back at the old spot. But I guess. Oh yeah, I was pressing Control Z because I do make a lot of mistakes when I'm editing, and I am right. You just drag it across, just like that. Just right up underneath it, and there we go. So, like, you can add in the red. Let's see, I'll just put it in the red. And see, I want it to be real dark. And then the white. Here we go. And then instead of a red up over there, maybe a bluish color blend and I guess yeah like I said tie dyeing but are not really the best tie dye colors but I mean the colors are up to you the per the user or developer whatever you want to call yourself director to decide but I've just been using this for go let me put that one all the way up over there like I said, I was just using this for a moon texture. Go, come on. I need to get a mouse pad. I'm using a wood surface, so that's probably why. Because I know this mouse is good. Dang it. Here we go. Alright. And like I said, just choose the gray color. And click OK. And let me turn luminance back on. I already had it though. All right. Make sure you do want to have luminance on because if you don't, then you would have to put a light on it and the lighting on it just wouldn't look right in my opinion. So uh, that's why I use luminance. Since luminance is pretty much like a glow, but it isn't. It doesn't have that glowing orb on the outside. I don't really like that on like most of the projects that I use. I need to and I need to have some like glow without having a light on it. I just sometimes don't like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and render this while rendering this 
this uh, project that I'm doing at the same time. So as you can see, it does look like an orb. It's easy to see. Uh, the lines right there, I don't think they'll show up in the photo. I might be wrong. Nope, they don't. And yeah, that's pretty much all. Uh, I'll also be having a Starfield uh, tutorial right here. Well, there'll be a little button right. Not button, but annotation right. Like probably right up over here or over here. I don't know where I'm going to put it. I got so many places. But yeah, that's how to make a moon uh, in a tie-dye. I guess a tie-dye-ish uh, fade or granite or whatever you want to call it. Uh, Alright, yeah. Thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe. And like I said, check out this Starfield. It's pretty awesome. Alright, bye.